Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about Dave Chappelle, who will go door to door for Andrew Yang's campaign. Any good general knows it's not necessarily the amount of troops you have in your army, it's also how dedicated are they, how motivated are you defending, are you attacking, are you on foreign soil, are you defending a castle. It's the same with politics. Uh, there's plenty of people who just throw out an endorsement and that's it. And then it gets one news cycle coverage. And then there's Dave Chappelle and Andrew Yang. Dave Chappelle, every time he talks about Andrew Yang, it makes the news. And he has been the source of seven to ten news cycles already. Where, again, he's endorsing Andrew Yang. So there's different levels of endorsement. There's a, hey, cool, Andrew's a cool guy. There's the, I will support Andrew Yang in Iowa, which is Mary Ann Williams has said. And then there's the, hey, Alyssa Magnano, I'm going to support you when I can get likes. And if I can't get likes anymore, I'm not going to support you. Or if I can put a knife in your back, then, and that will get lots of likes, then that's what I'm going to do. So there are different levels of how passionate people can be. At the lowest end, you have Alyssa Milano, who I think is just clout chasing, to be honest. Clout chasing means that she will say whatever it takes to get the most amount of likes. And if Andrew Yang is popular one day, she will support him. If there is controversy and that is popular and, but that's very bad for Andrew Yang about the uh, sexual inequality of pay. Then she'll go ahead and talk about that topic, even though that's very bad for Andrew Yang because that gets the most likes and woman empowerment and whatnot. So Dave Chappelle has been a friend to our campaign for a very long time, and he's done it in the right way. He's done. He, he's going to do charity events. He's volunteered to fundraise, and he's now going to donate his time to go door to door. Like I mentioned, the older you get, the more valuable time becomes, because you realize that it's a asset that you just don't have. You can never have enough time. There is a point in where you can have enough money. I am currently at that point right now. I don't need any more money. I feel. Like I live in a very improvised area. Why would I need so much money? The standard of living is extremely low here. But I would like more time. <laughs> but that's an asset that I cannot buy. That's an asset I cannot trade for. And Dave Chappelle is willing to go door to door like many of you guys who canvass. And hey, you guys are really incredible because I, couldn't, I cannot canvass. Uh, I just know I would be a bad canvasser. Uh, I tried to sell knives when I was like 16 or 17. It was one of these multi-level marketing scams, but I didn't realize it was a scam. Again, I came from a, I was born in China. My parents were born in China. So an immigrant family is very suspect to multi-level marketing because uh, we don't really have that in our country. So it sounds good, but then after a while you realize that, hey, I just have a bunch of knives that I paid for that I cannot sell. Uh, for one instance of this, I'm going to take a sidetrack, um, is Herbalife with the Latino communities. Like they say, hey, are you Latino? Do you want to own a business? Join Herbalife. No, no, no. Don't join Herbalife. It's going to ruin, it's going to ruin your life. So Dave Chappelle, I mean, there's different types of people, um, and he's probably one of the more important, and he's a great spoke spokesman. He addresses two areas of weakness, older people and African-Americans. And he's a comedian, very similar to Andrew Yang. So I think they get along very well. And yeah, we are making a lot of progress. And my criticism, I know this is a fluff. So I realized that today's videos were not fluffy. So I had to put in a fluff video, which will get more likes and views than the more serious, actually data-driven videos. Like I'm kind of considering just being a fluff channel where I just report on this news all the time and get tons of views and likes and stuff. But then I realized 
hey, I'm not broke and I don't need, and I donate all my, well, I guess if I got more views, I would donate even more money to Andrew Yang. I do feel like all the YouTubers that talk about Andrew Yang should donate at least 50% of their YouTube income, make it public uh, to Andrew Yang's campaign because without him, what would we talk about? I would talk about marketing again. <laughs> Man, it's, uh, even when I try to be the fluffiest, like, I just come out as spiteful. Anyway, hi guys.